Greetings, ladies and germs. Just a little update. Of course, not much going on this year. But I did manage to make some nice looking signs using Van Oaks, one of Van Oaks uh, DIYs. Very helpful. So I'm going to attach these one to the column, some of the other ones up on the facade that goes up against the garage. But yes, I used uh, Van Oaks method to uh, make faux metal signs. I picked up these letters off of Amazon, they're laser cut. And then I had some scrap plywood. As you can see, kind of back there, I got this just junk plywood and whatnot. I pick up here and there, people throwing it out. So plywood, and then I had some strips of, uh, small strips of wood I used, I put around the uh, borders for trim. And yeah, I just did his little thing and they turned out quite nice. I did finish um, repainting, repainting, mounting all this, all these new, all these headstones off of the wood bases. They were another on foam with PVC pipe. And I'm probably not going to bother with aging them. They're probably just going to go out like this this year. Um, and then I have, there's two more over here that are blanks. And I did actually was doing some digging around and I did find another Imagineer who I didn't have in the yard. Actually, the woman who designed the wallpaper in the Haunted Mansion. I don't have her out there in the yard, so I do need to make one for her. But... I don't know. I kind of got some ideas what I want to do this year. I think I had the pipe organ, but I threw it out. So you this this area is set up so you can see into you can see in through the conservatory glass thing and see into a room and you can see the pipe organ and the skeleton playing it. I could probably knock out another cardboard uh, pipe organ in time for Halloween or anything, but I'm kind of thinking actually just building a backdrop actually looking you would be looking in of course building a backdrop along here and then putting a uh putting up the large scrim that i had in my front room and projecting atmos on that so when you looked into here you'd, you'd be looking into this big ballroom with all these spooks and stuff flying around so that's kind of my idea for this year i had a crazy idea about trying to put together a walkthrough but i don't really think i could pull that off in time i mean i could easily I mean, I could get some frame and some black plastic and throw some creepy cloth over the walls and just staple gun it on. And then you walk in one side and walk past the guy. There's the guy in the coffin that kind of sits out here with, and the lid lifts up and down. And actually, I could probably just sit in here in my costume and scare kids that way. I don't know. I haven't completely ruled it out, but I'm just not sure if I want to take that on kind of feeling slow i've been working a ton of hours so i've been rolling about 55 60 a week lately due to all the deadlines so i've been kind of tired <laughs> to say the least and not really ready to take on that big of a project but who knows i don't know actually if it if somehow someone posted on one of our free pages like they got a stack of two by fours like yeah i'd totally do it then because I could grab those two by fours, rip them down to two by twos and build frame out of that. And then just buy a roll of black plastic, got my stable gun and just go to town and just, that'd be like, you know, easy walk through. That's what I did when I first started haunting black plastic walls. I and mean, I'm sure we all did at some point, just throw that together and people walk in one opening and go out the other, get some candy. I do have that spirit jumping spider guy put in here. That would get some people. And uh, so maybe, who knows? But yeah, I'll, I have some pictures of my progress as I made these, and I'll put these, put those in the video and everything. Y'all can see how they turned out and everything. But yeah, these really, uh, they really turned out really cool. I like them a lot. I kind of like this one a lot too with the coffin. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Hope everyone's working hard, getting their stuff ready. Mortuary out. All right, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm making a video here. It's okay. Here's my son. Hello. You'll never see me because I don't show my face. Ha ha. So I went out and I bought some uh, one by threes. I'm gonna make these for making some uh, 
flats for walls. My one by threes, whole stack one by threes. I got some uh, Luan for my, for my sheathing. And this is what I'm working on now. The place is covered in sawdust. So I'm going to make a tiny haunt. I did draw a giant haunt because I would, I don't know, I was crazy. And I had it all planned. I even had it ordered. I ordered it for pickup at Home Depot. It's going to be 27 new panels, all this framing, all this everything. And then this morning at like 5 in the morning, I just canceled it because I was like, there's no way. It, I mean, it's basically into September. I mean, technically, I, I'm supposed to start setting up next week, setting up the yard. But um, so I canceled it. And then I cut it way down. I cut it down to the third of the size because, like, there's no way I could possibly build this haunt. It was going to be four rooms, two long hallways, and now I'm just doing one hallway and one room. And I have plenty of stuff to fill that up to make it fun. And I think, and I feel like I can get that done in time for this this year's season. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already started a cardboard pipe organ, and I bought some PVC. What do I do with that stuff? Oh, it's out here. 2 inch PVC for the pipes on it. And I have a cardboard fireplace I'm gonna build. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the, uh, everyone's built the, uh, what do you call it? Expanding foam with the orange Christmas lights. I have one of those burning embers kind of thing. I'm gonna put that in the fireplace. And I've got a crazy idea. I think I can pull this off. I'm gonna go find the uh, haunted mansion. When you come into the main room over the fire, the image of the fireplace, I think I can download that. I'm gonna turn it into a, uh, a video that I can and I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same effect in my little haunt here so my haunt will basically be in this area up to where this uh, hanging wall is and there to the door actually it's gonna stick out on the driveway about so it's gonna be the 12 by 16 this wall that usually goes right here at the garage door is gonna be pushed out four feet and then eight feet into the garage so that'll be the size of the haunt I think it'll be nice it, it's good I'm not not gonna be good for teenagers in it but it'll be good for the trick-or-treaters i get which are kids you know grade school little kindergartners up to sixth grade i'll probably have a, the occasional teenagers that will show up and say it sucks because it whatever because they have two but <laughs> i digress but so another issue i have and i don't know if i've talked about this in a previous video the uh another fiber company is coming through They've already started digging in another part of the neighborhood. I don't know when they're going to get to my yard, but last time they had equipment and everything parked in my lawn right here. So if they do that again, I can't decorate on this side at least, or at least maybe down to where that yellow flag is I could decorate. But I can't put up my cemetery fence until I know what they're doing. So that's frustrating. So I have no idea what's happening on this side of the yard. This side of the yard, I think I can decorate. I don't, they don't dig on this side because it's just the water. The water comes in down there. And I don't remember them digging there last year. Last year they did dig. AT&T came and put their fiber in. Now I have another fiber company coming and put their fiber in. You know, so you see Mr. Crow there. He's ready to go, ready to be in the haunt. But that's what's going on at the mortuary. So I hope everyone else is getting their stuff. Y'all, Everyone else is probably setting up. I'm already putting their stuff out in the yard. I'm still building. But that's how it is, you know. So the Blanc Mortuary, out. All right, folks, I have one panel made. I made it earlier in the day, and then I went in and took a nap, <laughs> and now I'm just back out here. I'm going to start making some more, probably do a couple more tonight, but I have, I was just going to do just a frame around the border, but I found that the 1 8th and Luan is just really, it's slightly a step above plastic, to be honest, how I used to do hunt. So I ran this one by three across the back, which means I'll have to go back out and get some more one by three later on as I progress on the project. But I have this quarter round that I picked up off of a free page and I put it on there. So I think I'm going to, I'm just going to leave the wood grain on the bottom, but I believe it was Van Oaks showed how to make a, uh, like a Victorian wallpaper panel look thing. So I'm going to paint the wall up here with a nice burgundy. And then I'll go to Walmart and get myself like a lace drape or whatever. And what you do is you lay the lace over the painted surface. And then you use spray paint on the, over the, you spray paint through the lace. And then it leaves the pattern on there. 
So I'm going to do that little trick. So that will be what my wall panels will look like, except for the area. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. We used to have this thing called the bug room in Blanc, in Blanc Mortuary back in uh, 2000, 2001. And it's just, you went into this room, it was white floor, white ceiling, white walls over, and we had like, I don't know, 2,000 big rubber cockroaches glued all over the walls, the ceilings and everything. And I thought about, I'm going to do that, I've already ordered my cockroaches, but I thought about painting those walls solid white and then putting the bugs, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I don't, I'll have to see when I get there, I guess. But, one wall panel down, 12 more to go, so, <clears throat> moving on.